Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for taking the time. We appreciate the opportunity to connect with you. Advance my slide here. There we go. Um, my name is Josh Horticon. I'm the Senior Director of Sales for the Americas for Small Luxury Hotels of the World. Um, I'm actually based in San Diego, California. Um, my team consists of Julie Owens, uh, based in New York City, uh, Lena Marino, based in uh, Boca Raton, Florida, Vanessa Johnson in Houston, Texas, and Dominic Laddit, based in Brazil for our South American market. If there's anything my team or I can do to assist you in any way, please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us at any time. Since I have a captive audience, I would like to highlight the webinar series we have scheduled for the next several weeks. Our goal here was to bring you up to date information from our properties in a focused manner. We began this series with our domestic properties and options and have added additional webinars to cover exciting international destinations. If you'd like to be added to our webinar mailing list, please send me a request via email. And also, should you have any suggestions for a topic or if there's a particular region of the world that you're most interested in, I'd love to hear your feedback and please send me an email. Now, for those of you that are not familiar, uh, SLH's GDS access code is LX. And if not already doing so, I'd like to encourage you to utilize our VIP desk. Uh, this team is spread across the globe, uh, speaking over nine different languages collectively. Uh, they can obtain quotes, they make reservations, handle VIP requests, helps with the language barriers at some of our smaller properties, uh, and can do so much more. Additionally, some of you have pointed out that our travel agent portal is down. They're still working on it, so still under construction. Um, as soon as that's made available, I will be sure to notify you. Now, before we begin, uh, if not presenting, I'd like to ask all of you to mute your phone so there's no background noise. Agents, for any questions you have for myself or my SLH hoteliers, uh, please type those into the chat box. I will ensure each question is answered before the end of the webinar. Now, please note, your time is extremely valued to me, uh, valuable to me. So, and as such, each presenter has been given an opportunity to present um, or to practice prior to today's webinar. In the unlikely event there is a technical difficulty, a follow-up will be set for any uh, missed property information. Most importantly, I'll ensure we keep things moving along. Now, with that, I'd like to introduce you to our 16th webinar, European Experiences. Uh, and a quick plug, if you enjoyed today's call, please join us tomorrow for Austria, Switzerland, and the Netherlands, featuring four fantastic SLH properties. Now, today we have Sandrine with East West Hotel, uh, Paloma with Palacio Salesio, Barbara with Severin's Resort and Spa, and Jennifer Vogel with Arena Berlin. Now, she was having a little trouble logging in, so I'm not sure she's in today, but she'll be the last presenter. Um, I'll let y'all know. Otherwise, we'll have her joining in a different webinar. Now, with that, I'd like to ask Sandrine to please unmute herself and you may share your screen. Okay. There you go. There I go. Yes, ma'am. Now we just need to share your screen. So just do what you did earlier. Yeah. Perfect. Should I start? Um, we can't see the content just yet. It's it's um, loading very slow. Okay. All right. It is up now. You may begin. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to Geneva. My name is Sandrine, and I do represent the East West Hotel in Geneva. So um, let me, of course, thank you for your time today. Um, if you have any question during the presentation, please um, let me know. Um, so I will start quickly with the big map and um, tell you what is important in Geneva. There are actually many, many reasons to come in Geneva, but for you, keep in mind that uh, Geneva is a very central city in Europe with more than 100 direct destinations and flights, only six hours direct flight from New York, and the airport is only at six minutes by train to the city center where we actually are. 
Um, the city offers the free transportation ticket, so you don't have to pay for your transportation do you, during your stay, whatever you come for business or for leisure. And Geneva is, of course, well known for the international organizations, the watch and chocolate making, and for sure, the banks. So let's move now to the location of the hotel, which is just great, as we are located in the very, very heart of Geneva, just a few steps from the lake, walking distance from the main station, and um, where every um, major attractions are. Let's move now to the hotel, um, East West Hotel. So behind this quite classical facade of a pearl building, I invite you to discover the friendly, the contemporary, the intimate, small, and of course, uh, luxury hotel East West. Um, as soon as you get in the property, you will feel this cozy atmosphere, harmonious alliance between East and West. Um, the hotel is actually a very um, small hotel, um, even of discreet luxury, offering a lot of intimacy. And we can actually describe the atmosphere to a private home. Um, we actually have 41 guest rooms, uh, including two, two junior and two duplex suites equipped with all comfort modern technology. The rooms are designed in a quite contemporary art um, with pocket floor and minimally designed dark furniture to create, a, once again, a contemporary, an elegant and a warm atmosphere. Um, on the top floor, we actually have two junior suites. Um, here we are. Yes, two junior suites um, designed for your VIPs, for your um, families. Um, very, very warm, very elegant, and which looked up, which look out over the roof and offer a very nice view on the uh, Geneva Jedo, which is actually a symbol of, uh, of Geneva. Um, as I said, ideal for the VIP looking for distinction, differentiation, and with a convertible sofa, ideal for family as well. Besides, we also have two duplex suites that we can consider as apartment, uh, also obviously um, ideal for families and, and v VIPs, I will say. Um, two duplex suites both feature a floor to selling glass open to the patio to take advantage of this oasis in the out of Geneva, out, out of town, I will say. Um, the patio, which is um, this one, is um, open sky at the moment during the summer and turns to a garden winter garden in the winter that we can privatize for small events small parties uh, it's really an oasis uh, as i said in the heart of of, um, of the town besides of the guest rooms we also have very cozy libraries that we can adapt to individual moods and needs um, we can definitely privatize also the libraries for the clientele, uh, whatever it is for lunch, a dinner, a party, uh, or just for a small, a small event. The restaurant of the hotel um, provides an authentic cuisine with a twist. Um, this cuisine is a real contrast of flavors, of colors, uh, but always in harmony with uh, the spirit of the hotel. We, of course, have a small sauna and fitness, which is open 24 hours a day to the clients. And um, talking about incentive, because I guess that your clients may come for two, three, even three nights, say, in Geneva, I would be very pleased to assist you uh, in, organize, in, uh, in organizing your visit, your excursions in Geneva or outside of Geneva, as Switzerland is very small and we can go everywhere in less than one hour. So uh, feel free to let me know if you need some more inf information later on. Um, in terms of package, the hotel is a within member, so um, your clients will take advantage of the within program um, benefits. You will get your commission for sure. And uh, in addition, we offer you this new package based on a three nine stay with some very flexible conditions. Safety, we know that this is very important because we care the clients, we focus on delivering 
then the best hotel experience in a total safe environment conducted by the local guidelines. So this is what we can offer the clients as soon as we open the, the hotel again next August 24th. So this is pretty much about the East West Hotel. I really uh, uh, hope that you enjoy the visit. Um, hope to have the chance to connect with you soon and um, be my guest to, uh, to send me your questions, your requests, and I'd be delighted to uh, have your clients and make them um, delighted by the stay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sandrine. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sandrine. We really appreciate that. All right, you can go ahead and mute yourself now, please. And sure. my dear Paloma, if you would unmute yourself and share your content for us. Okay, then. Um, Paloma, we can't hear you just yet. So let me just unmute you. Gotcha. There you go. Okay. Yo me puedo reconectar de 12 a 12 y media y luego la Paloma, are you having any trouble with your screen? Bueno, bueno. Gracias. Bye. There we go. Excellent. Now we can't hear you though, Paloma. No. Eso entre mi mamá y yo ya. No, pero en estas puertas porque si no. All right, we're having some technical difficulties with Paloma. So, um, Barbara, if you would just unmute yourself. Uh, there you go. Why don't you go ahead and share your content? We'll see if Paloma can um, get her audio working. Okay. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah. You may begin. Okay. A warm welcome from the Austrian Alps, from Lech, one of the largest interconnected ski areas in Austria. I'm Barbara from the Severitz Lech, the Alpine Retreat, your home away from home. The hotel is located only 90 minutes from Innsbruck, which is the Austrian airport, or two hours from Zurich airport. Now I would love to invite you for a short tour through the hotel. The Severin's Alpine Retreat is a chalet style hotel mostly made from wood over 150 years old. The latest technology, Italian furniture and contemporary art combines comfort with elegance. Our excellent equipped and lovely decorated rooms are typically for the region at the same time cosmopolitan. This is how the Severin's the Alpine Retreat presents itself. The hotel has in total 10 rooms, nine suites, and one fabulous private residence. Let's come and see. The suites are around 50 to 60 square meters, up to four persons. The prices starts at around 690 euros, which includes breakfast and half board. Our fabulous restaurant with a la carte breakfast, an amazing dinner, chef's choice, welcomes you already in the early morning before you start skiing or in the evening with a pre aperitif at our cozy bar and an excellent dinner afterwards. Our chef and his team will pamper you with regional creations. Or you enjoy your private party in our enormous wine cellar by many our sommelier will um, recommend you the best choice. 
after a whole full day skiing, enjoy and pamper yourself, relax in our spa area with pool, gym and sauna. Now, you can follow me to see the residence. The residence is around 423 square meters up to eight persons, which means four sleeping rooms and the master bedroom. And the prices start from 3,990 euros per night, including breakfast and half board. Your privacy is guaranteed. The bedroom and the style is similar to the hotel's rooms. You can feel free and private. Private whirlpool outside as well. Your private dining room with own kitchen. Your spacious living room with own piano. And the highlight is the private cinema for eight persons where you can see the movie of your choice and for sure reserve popcorn and Coke if you want. So the Alpine retreat, your wish is our benchmark. Looking forward to welcome your guests as soon and make their ski holidays unique and extraordinary. The hotel will open for the ski season on the 5th of December. And for sure, we will be prepared to comply all measures required by the Austrian law. Thank you very much for your attention and do not hesitate to contact me for any requests or other questions. Sunny regards from the ski resort. Barbara, thank you so much. We're going to go ahead and have you mute yourself. Paloma, if you would, um, I've unmuted you now. Can we hear you? No, we still can't hear your audio. Shame. Um, for, so I'm going to go ahead. Um, Paloma, I'm going to mute you now. Uh, Jennifer Vogel, are you ready, my dear? Yes, we are. I love it. All right. Do you hear and see us? We can see you. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, perfect. You see us? Yep. But we need to switch the cam. Yeah. Ah, it's here. Okay. Ah, okay. Like this. Now? There you are. Perfect. Now what? Yeah, you see us and you hear us? We do. Great. Let me do this, Jennifer. Hang on one second. I want to just uh, reset the screen here. There you go. Stop sharing. Perfect. Now the screen should be large on you, and we're ready for you to begin. Ready. So we are ready? We are. Cool. Uh, start. Oh, we lost the video. Bear with us, agents. There we go. Got your back. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Berlin and welcome to Romania Berlin. If, I'm, I'm sure that all of you remember MTV, Welcome to My Crib, and now we do Welcome to the Hotel Crib. Come on in, let's go. Now, have Jennifer speak louder when she speaks. She's going to be hard to understand, so she's Got further back. So over here we are in our restaurant and now we're gonna have a look into it. Come on. And over here. And it's always good being good with the chef and I'm very lucky I'm married to one so I'm always getting something to eat in the kitchen. <laughs> Today? No, no, no? Bye. And now maybe you hear it already. We have music six times a week. So just let's go and let's pick it up. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're here, we are welcoming our guests. It's guest relation and reception. And Yvonne is right now preparing a heart balloon, so we may let the magic happen. Hi, Yvonne. Now we check out the room. Jennifer, can, can you, you hear me? me? Yes, we can. Oh, good. Okay, perfect. I want you, you to speak you louder. Can. We're having we're having a little trouble hearing you. All right, I speak louder. Very shortly, we are in the room. So right now right, we're gonna go up the historical staircase. So the building is an historical one. It was built 1912. And now we are going up to an Orania 50, which is a junior suite. And I'm sure that I will tell you everything again, just to make sure that everyone's understanding me again. Perfect. So, everyone, if you have a red carpet moment, you can try it right on the way to your room. See if she can take her mask off so we can hear better. Oh, perfect. I know we have to be we have to be respectful of COVID. So now I think you can hear me better. Um, we can hear you perfect. Your video has stopped though. So it's probably just reconnecting. Let's see. But if you want to go ahead and, and, and continue speaking about the property. Sure. Um, well, due to the COVID-19, we are not allowed to remove the mask in the open area. That's why, why I had it on um, while I was taking the tour quickly. Beautiful. And now we're just two, so we're allowed to wear or remove the mask. We are now in Orania 50, which is a junior suite, and um, this category starts at 470 euros, but we do have rooms for everyone. So the smallest room is in a 17 square meter room, and it starts at 170 euros. And uh, what is really beautiful is our entry level, the double rooms, they always have a nice view. So we can have a look right now how it looks. Beautiful. So this is one of my favorite spots in the hotel and um, you have the benches in the double rooms or starting from the double rooms and um, there are three things which are very important for the Rania. First is the music as you can see and hear. Number two is the location. We are in an authentic part of Berlin, very urban, very arty, very well known for bars and restaurants. And number three, it's, uh, well for me it's my husband, um, but it is definitely the restaurant. We are well known for our expert duck and um, before COVID-19 um, you had to book the room, uh, the, the room, the table two weeks in advance. So it was really, really well known even over the borders. Um, not, uh, not, not yet throughout the world, but we are working on this. Yes. So do you have any questions? No questions have come through. Um, how many rooms do you have in total, Jennifer? Oh, I think we may have missed that. Um, 41 rooms in total. And, and, and of those, how many are suites? Um, 17, so yeah. Oh, excellent, excellent. And um, uh, you're open year round? Yes, we are um, open throughout the year. We don't, we, we never close if we don't have to, like this year. And good, um, and good for kids and families? I'm sorry? Good for kids and families? Definitely. We have interconnecting rooms also, and um, we are very kids friendly and also dog friendly um, for somebody who wants to know this. Awesome. Awesome. And then um, as far as your location, can you give us um, some details on that? Um, as far as transfers, how close you are from the airport, and then um, which district are you actually located in? The district is called Kreuzberg, and uh, we are located 30 minutes from the Tegel Airport and as well as 30 minutes from Schönefeld. And as soon as the third one is opening soon, um, it's even a little bit closer. And um, the area is very close to the main sites also. So you need around 15 minutes to reach the Brandenburg Gate, um, which is the main site of Berlin. But the beauty is really that you're not in a touristy part. So you will not see any I Love Berlin t-shirt shops or anything like that. No Starbucks. It's really all small boutique. More authentic. So it's really, really unique and um, 
yeah, it's very special. I'm living in Kreisberg myself, so I can really. Nice, nice. I actually had an interesting question come through. Are you related to Schloss Elmo? Noticed your cushions. We are indeed. We always say that, that we are the wild, um, the wild child um, from Schloss Elmo. We are related. Um, Dietmar Müller Elmo, the owner of Schloss Elmo, is our managing partner. So he did the entire de interior design, and he's assisting us if we need him. Excellent, excellent. Well, this has been so fun. Um, I, we love the idea of you walking through the hotel. Um, I, for now, that's it. If you would just stay tuned in case I get any additional questions. And uh, agents, if you have some extra time, please stay with us. I'm going to see if Paloma um, can can be heard um, and, and go over her resort. So for now, Jennifer, I'm going to mute you. And Paloma, if you would unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes, we hear you. Oh, thank yeah. God. <laughs> now, if you would just go ahead right. and share your content and we can get started. Yeah. Perfect. Let me just share that. Excellent. Right. Can you see my presentation? Can we can see and hear you. You can begin. Oh, perfect. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in, for taking the time to join in today. I'm presenting Palacio Celestio. It's a brand new hotel in the city of, of Malaga. We only opened a few months ago. Um, so we are the uh, new gem in the city. So we're going to start with a short video so you can get a, a feel for, for the hotel. This is our main facade. The main entrance to the hotel. This is our restaurant. It's located here. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Josh. Okay, I'll continue. Um, these are our bedrooms. The line of decoration in all of our bedrooms is quite similar. There's a change in the um, color scheme and the layout of the bedrooms, of course, especially being in a, in a palace. Uh, each, each room is quite unique. This is our second patio, and this is our, where our fitness room is located. And Hello. our tower room. Yep. Turn the volume down. Okay. Or even off, actually. That's better. Yeah, we'd rather hear your voice. Perfect. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, um, I don't know if you saw the last images, but uh, we are located in a pedestrian road in one of the narrow alleys in uh, Malaga's old town. So it's a very charming area, a very good location to stay uh, in Malaga. Right, so Palacio Celestio, um, uh, the building is a palace. Uh, it was built in the, in the 18th century, and we did a full renovation of the palace, trying to keep um, as many original features as, as we could. We renovated them, uh, restored them, and reintegrated them with the, uh, with the current decoration. So you can see the before and after of, uh, of some of the spots um, uh, in our hotel. So it's a lot of history, and um, if you stay with us, they, you know, there's a lot of history in this building. Uh, it has been used for several, several things throughout history. Um, these are our common areas. So as part of the uh, interior design project, um, there was a deep research on the type of uh, decoration, the materials, and the textures um, used um, to decorate a palace or a big house uh, from back in, in the day. And this was the result. So the, uh, the atmosphere in the hotel is very cozy and it's very, very Spanish especially, is um, the, uh, the, the styles very much from the south of Spain. So the bare brick, for example, of the wooden beams, um, they are um, very, very common in Spain. So this is our restaurant located in our, um, in our main patio. Um, these columns are original and they have been uh, restored and replaced here. There's a glass skylight in this, um, in this restaurant as well, so it's a really nice spot in the hotel. Um, in terms of the type of cuisine, we're very lucky to count with uh, this chef, the gentleman on the picture, Jose Carlos Garcia. He is the only chef in the city of Malaga that has a restaurant with a Michelin star. And so we're really proud to, to have him on board. And the type of cuisine is very much uh, Spanish traditional um, recipes using local seasonal fresh products. Um, and he gives uh, these recipes his uh, personal touch. Um, the hotel has 68 bedrooms. Um, we won't be able to go through all of the uh, room categories, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll show you a couple of them so you can ha have an idea. 
This is our deluxe palacio room. Uh, we have oak flooring in all of our rooms and oak paneling from the walls and the uh, uh, mirrors behind the headboards really gives a sense of space in the bedrooms. And the table furniture is Castilian traditional um, uh, furniture, but with a modern twist. So it's, it kind of gives a um, timeless look to, to the building. This particular bedroom has a four post uh, bed um, and it's because on the second floor, which is this one, it used to be the noble floor of the palace. And this is what we have, uh, the, the really high ceiling. And this is our tower room. This is the most special uh, room in the hotel uh, located on the top floor. It's the only one. It offers 100% um, privacy. It's the only one that has a terrace as well. And it offers 360 degree view of the city center. On the picture on the right, you can see the cathedral right there. And then moving on to the destination, for those of you uh, that don't know Malaga, it is located right at the south of Spain on the coast. And Malaga is a place that offers many, many um, uh, different possibilities, a wide range of activities that, uh, that people can do when visiting. Uh, so from cultural activities, visiting museums as important as the Picasso Museum, um, to historical sites as the Arab Fortress or the Roman Amphitheater, um, as well as all sorts of activities outdoors, you know, the, uh, the, the weather here in Malaga is really, really good. We have 320 days on average per year of sun. Uh, so obviously that gives a lot of possibilities. And then gastronomy is obviously a big part of the culture in Spain, and it's not less in the south. Um, and wine, we do produce wine as well. And a nice uh, visit to one of the vineyards in, in, in Malaga is a really nice experience. And I have included people here because uh, we're very well known in Malaga for being very friendly, very warm, um, and also uh, the Happy Research Institute uh, named Malaga as the most smiley city in the world in 2019. So we're really proud of that. I had to, I had to mention that, of course. Um, if we, we take a closer look into the uh, location of the, of the hotel, you can see Palacio Solesio right in the middle of the map. And you can see in relation to the port, which is right at the bottom, uh, it's a 10 minute walk and the port is perfect for uh, going for a meal or just to watch the sunset or go shopping. It's a really, they've renovated the port um, a few years ago and they've, they've done a really, really good job. And on the right hand side um, is the beach as well, which is 10 minutes. and um, all of the signs right around the hotel is all of the possibilities, all the type of things that you can do and, and when staying in Palacio Solesio. So you can see the Picasso Museum. Um, he was born in Malaga, so his best place is only two minutes away from the hotel. Um, and the museum is also a couple of minutes away. The Roman Amphitheater and the Arab uh, Fortress, um, like I said earlier, and then the beach and the port just 10 minutes away. So there are many, many possibilities. It's a very convenient location uh, within, within the city. Um, and that's me. Thank you very much uh, for, for your time. And if you have any questions, please shout. Awesome. Awesome. All right, agents, that concludes um, our presentations. Again, if you have any questions, please type those in the chat box. Otherwise, hoteliers, I like hoteliers, I want to thank you for the time it's taken you to prepare and present today. Um, agents, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, to hear about our beautiful properties. Um, Again, if you have any questions, just email me. Otherwise, y'all have a terrific day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.